A very learned philosopher once said, it is of the utmost importance that children be taught to work. He must have been very sensitive to noise. Philosophers can be irritated by children, but children don't pay much attention to philosophers anyway. So his words were lost on the wind that carried the disturbing noises into his study. Since the beginning of time, children have not liked to study, they'd much rather play. And if you have their interest at heart, you will let them learn while they play, and then eventually they'll find that what they have mastered is child's play. This is true of any art or skill, but particularly it is true of music. Playing is movement, natural movement, rhythm. Play is as rhythmic as the flight of birds or the circling of the stars. Everything is done in time, whether it's throwing a ball or skipping or jumping or singing. Even counting rhymes take on a meaning of their own, a profound meaning that grown-ups who have got out of step a long time ago can no longer grasp. Why should children play only with dolls and toys? Why not cultivate their primitive instinct for rhythm? Why shouldn't they play with words and sounds? You don't need any complicated instruments. Whichever distant ancestor was first inspired to make music had perhaps nothing more than a piece of hollow wood, the first percussion instrument. And his youngest descendants follow his example. They too feel an irresistible urge to bang on something, anything. It doesn't have to be a drum. Was trinken gern, roten Wein. Ringe, ringe, reia, sind der Kinder dreier, sitzen unterm Hollerbusch, machen alle Husch. Ringe, ringe, reia, sind der Kinder dreier, sitzen unterm Hollerbusch, machen alle Husch. With these little wooden sticks Christina is placing on the xylophone, you can make all sorts of enchanting tunes. If you know how, of course. If you don't, well, just leave out the semitones, and there isn't so much to go wrong. If everybody in the group could just go ahead and play as they liked, that would be wonderful. But first of all, you need to find some sort of pattern underneath that goes on and on. It's called an ostinato. Then you can make up a tune to go with it. And now they have gone a long way beyond the simple round dance.
course, children play with sounds out of doors too, especially in the first warm days of spring when it's time to get rid of old man winter. later, people who make music just can't resist trying their hand at conducting. And if the rhythm is tempting enough, the conducting drifts imperceptibly into dancing. So elusive is the difference between music and movement, between sound and rhythm, between work and play. young musicians could see the educational purpose hidden in their play, it wouldn't be nearly so much fun, and they would be able to get slightly out of tune. But as it is, there's no discord, no self-consciousness, just happiness and harmony. Children make music. Music for children. Thank you. 